Today I'm t making a short review of Great Wolf Lodge in Anaheim. I went there for a day with my family. Of, and uh, this is the one in Anaheim Garn Grove. I'm giving this water park a 3 out of 5. This included the stay at the hotel. The water park was fun. Um, they had a, you know about 5 or 6 things you could do there. Uh, I tried out the kiddie pool, the mini basketball court, the three-story playground, slide, uh, the lazy river, as, as as well as the wave pool. Those are all were pretty enjoyable. The biggest negative is the uh, towel return policy. If you lose a towel, it's fifteen dollars per towel. So be very you know responsible about that. Uh, even though uh, my wife uh, returned the towels, uh, we checked it out the day two times. Uh, we made sure to return it, but we were still charged the uh, towel fee because they said we lost the towels, even though we didn't. So that was a, that was really disappointing. You know, it kind of ruined the experience for me because um, whoever's working in the towel area should should be responsible and not miss the fact that we return towels. I mean, you beep, you return the towels and then you beep with your uh, wristband. And so uh, that can happen. So if it happens to you, it's pretty annoying. You got to call customer support and explain yourself. Um, as far as the hotel goes, uh, Decent hotel for, you know, a standard suite. We, we just got a regular standard suite with two uh, queen beds. <coughs> the room also includes a sofa mattress, uh, a sofa that turns into a mattress. Um, internet was just fine. I was using two two tablets in my phone, and the kids were able to watch their, their, their shows on the tablets. Uh... The biggest negatives that I'll mention is, one, the sofa mattress, if you actually want to use it, the mattress cushion is just shot. You can feel the metal frame because the the mattress itself provides no cushion. Maybe it was just our room, but just wanted to put that out there. So if you're planning to use the sofa mattress, it may not be good. Also, uh, one one other big thing was in your room you can control the temperature using the thermostat but the fan that shoots hot air or cold air will always be on it's either set to auto low or high um, my wife tried calling uh, the hotel uh, front desk to see if there could be anything done but they said the fan is always on so I'm not sure if this is just for Anaheim Garden Grove or specific to certain rooms. But the fact that you couldn't turn off the van was kind of annoying. Uh, especially if you're you're sleeping right next to the, the fan. It's always blowing hot or cold air at you. So you, you might get sick or something. Uh, we did try the morning buffet and it was pretty decent. Uh, pretty decent selection. Some food was, you know... Meh, not that great. And other food was pretty good, like the strawberries are good, the omelet was good, the uh, the waffles were good because they had the little wolf wolf paw uh, logo on it. Um, I just want to mention the cost for the standard suite for us. We were able to get for one night one hundred eighty dollars. Now, it seems like a great deal, but after you add in all the extra fees, there's a $40 resort fee, you know, for swimming in the pool and also the internet that's included. Um, internet, uh, and so $40 for that, there's a 14.5% transient occupancy fee. I don't even know what that is, but they charge you 14.5%. And also there's $22 for self-parking. That all adds up to be, you know, $100 or more. And so to stay for this whole night, it was $180 plus all those fees. It became $290. So about over 50% added in fees. Felt like I was going to a Las Vegas hotel or something. Uh, what we got for that that 
paying that amount of money. Uh, we did get two adult and four children passes for the day that we checked in to the water park. Uh, the website said uh, you could start using the, what do you call it, water park, I think around 1 p.m. for, for check-in. Uh, but we did regular check-in, which was 4 p.m. So, uh, I mean, I guess we could have gone to the water park earlier. We just had to go to the front desk, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the policy is. But we checked in at 4 p.m., and that's when we got our, what do you call it, wristbands. And we could go to the water park. Uh, and the water park closed that day at 8 p.m. So we had a few hours there. The next day, uh, you know, the water park opened, I think, around... 10 o'clock or something I'm probably wrong uh, 10 10 30 and then it was open until 8 p.m. and we had it's nice because you have all day access you just have to unfortunately in the morning uh, check out and then move your stuff to your car which I guess it's safe uh, and your parking pass does last to the end of the day um, Additional comments, uh, there is a microwave where the ice machine is on that floor on the floor that you stay at, I think. I, I mean, I saw the microwave. It's kind of nice because you can bring popcorn or you bring instant noodles uh, just if you want to save some money. Um, again, remember there's a towel, towel return fee if you don't return your towels. $15, kind of pricey. Uh, I want to reiterate the whole sofa mattress thingy, so it's no bueno. AC heater fan is always on. Um, other thing was after my first uh, time swimming in in the water park, not really swimming, but just walking around the water. After taking a shower, uh, I was kind of itchy, and so bring some lotion, I guess, or something to counteract the you know the chemicals in the the water. Um, finally, did my kids love it? They lo actually loved it, but you know some kids loved it for a few hours some kids loved it the whole time uh and that's all that matters uh i'll post some videos you can watch some videos after this this review and so sorry talked quite a lot so over and out